Hi, I'm Malcolm. This is Anchor Mascot Applecrisp. Welcome to Inside the Pages, this week's book, Ring by Koji Suzuki. Horror can act as more just a, more than just a medium for scaring people. I think it can also act as a way to connect to the history of the time. And I think this is clearly evident with Koji Suzuki's Ring. Probably most like most people, I heard first heard about this book through the American movie adaptations of the ring of the ring the the film series about a creepy ghost girl crawling through a television which led me to seek out the book out of curiosity and what i find so fascinating about it well before i get to that i'll explain the basics of what the book is about though since it's a mystery i can only really explain so much it's a it's about a journalist named asakawa who kazuyuki asakawa who, after discovering that, that several teenagers have died of mysterious heart attacks, starts, starts investigating a videotape that they all were apparently watching, watching, and this plunges him into a case that just gets more complex and mind-bending as it goes on, and even ends up testing his sanity in certain regards. The reason, um, and that's as far as I can go without spoilers, so I'm just going to leave it off there, but it gets weird. I mean, it's, it's crazy to me how... how Ryu Suzuki is able to write, Koji Suzuki is able to write a story that has almost, has scenes where nothing is happening and nobody is present in the room, and yet it's still frightening to me. The reason why I say it's a time capsule is that this book was published in the late 80s and early 90s when, when VCRs were still a thing and when late night broadcasts weren't uncommon. And I think that's where a lot of the horror comes from to the point that if this book was published today, I don't think it would have been nearly as scary. This is why I say it's a time capsule, because it's a perfect encapsula more than just a horror novel, it's a perfect encapsulation of what life was like in Japan at the time, which is so fascinating to me, because it's a different way of looking, looking at history and looking at horror as, horror as a whole. Koji is a very surreal and mind-bending author. I will mention this book contains some not safe for watching themes, so you're not comfortable with that, you might want to seek out another series. But if you don't mind that, then the mystery will have your, have your heart racing instantly, and you will always be tense and wondering what's going to happen next. It is completely terrifying as you go along, and the case just gets more complex and more mind-boggling and just so strange. I mean... I'd heard about the movies beforehand, but I will say the book, the book comes so much closer to that. It, 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 it the, the movie doesn't even compare con considering how strange and abnormal the book gets at times, even when there's nothing happening. You'll be, by the end of it, you will be left with more questions and answers, which sets up for the following two books in the trilogy, Spiral and Loop. It's, it's such an interesting way of looking at horror, and a way of connecting with the past, because this book is so frozen in time in the 80s and 90s. I love it. Like, honestly, it's an incredible horror novel. Suzuki is a very surreal writer, and very strange and dreamlike. And and you will always felt, as you read the book, you always feel like there, the events of the story are progressing on a countdown towards the inevitable conclusion, and as time slowly starts running out. But I think I've said enough about the plot. Overall, yeah, I'd give Suzuki, I, I'd give Ring an 8 out of 10. It is a fantastic read, um, and you won't want to put it down until you've finished it, just to see how it all ends and everything culminates. This is Malcolm. This is Anchor Mac Applecrest. Thank you for listening to Inside the Pages and my review of Ring. See you next week.